So I've been wanting to expand the solar capacity for my caravan uh, and wanting to upgrade my portable solar options. I've currently got a 300 watt solar blanket, KT Cables one, which is you know good for weekends in a way, but for sort of extended trips uh, off grid, uh, I was wanting to you know get some uh, a portable solar system that was uh, a little bit more beefy in what it could produce as far as solar harvesting. So I've got this. Um, Moby Outdoors um, solar panel off eBay just arrived today and I haven't find, found any reviews of these or any sort of uh, overview of these on uh, YouTube or anything before uh, but I thought I'd give it a go um, I was looking at uh, the Alvolta 440 watt panel which it's about 800 bucks so which is a lot more expensive but uh, this is advertised as a 400 watt panel. Now straight away I know that's a completely false statement. Um, just doing some basic, basic sort of math uh, based on surface area and cell efficiency. Uh, now they claim this is a 400 watt panel uh, and, and has a very high claim of a 25% efficiency rating. So. Uh, just doing the math, it's a 1570 by 770 uh, panel at 25%. So that's, so that's about a 1.2 metre squared uh, surface area. And at a 25% surface uh, efficiency rating, that would give it a top sort of output at around 300 watts. Um, so already just using their own specifications that they publish uh, I'm not expecting at all to get 400 watts and in fact uh, uh, from everything I've read 17% efficiency is much more uh, of a uh, more likely sort of efficiency rating for these sort of generic solar panels. So that puts us down at around uh, approaching 200 watts which is what I realistically expect out of them. Um, so I, I actually got three of these that I plan to series together and uh, put into my MPPT charger over there to uh, sort of harvest some solar. So as long as they're getting around that 200 watt mark, I think it'll be good enough for what I want. Uh, but so what I'm going to do today, just get this thing unpacked and uh, uh, yeah, get it out in the sun over there and uh, test what it can put back into a a battery via the MPPT charger first as a just a single panel and then I'll put the three together as series and see what we get. So that's the panel unpacked but anyway we'll have a look at the back and if I can hold it still that's that's the uh, specs on the back which does say 400 watts um, now pretty good solar production day, so just do a quick temperature test on the panel before it goes out, so yeah it's sitting at about 16 degrees, I'll go have a quick look at uh, ambient temperature here at the moment, I've got the temperature probe on is about 23 degrees, and uh, I'm just going to use this highly sophisticated um, stand here to get the solar panel uh, directed at the sun. I've got a 40 amp EP EVA MPPT charge controller and a heavily discharged uh, iTech World 120X lithium battery there uh, and I'm going to use that as the, 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 the drain or the load on the, the panel. Righto, we'll get this set up and we'll have a look at uh, a few other specs as well once I get the panel set up and see what we can get out of one panel. So looking at the power meter here, we're getting over 1300, about 1350 nearly uh, watts per square meter, which is far in excess of the 1000 watts per square meter used for standard test conditions. Um, just got a cloud coming over now, but let's have a look at, there we go, 180 watts max just there, and a maximum of... Uh, wait for it to come around. Here we go, 13.3 amps coming into the battery. So what I'll do now is I've actually got another two of these 
So I'll hook them up in series and see what they can uh, pump out in a series configuration. Got these panels set up in a series now. Tried to get them in an arrangement so there's no shade on any of them. Well, just while the clouds are over the sun, just a little bit of a test on temperature. So that's the one I've been testing for a little while, sitting at about 46 degrees. This one I've just put out about 43. And this last one, yeah, it's still 36. So you can see here, PV output here is uh, right up around, there we go, we've just ticked over 600 watts. Uh, 51 amps, uh, 51 volts uh, PV input and 11 and a half amps. Um, as far as output max over here, uh, at the moment we're, we're sitting right on 600-ish coming into the battery. Uh, what's our peak? Peak there of 652, 51 watts, which at when we come around to amp hours or amps rather, 46.19 amp peak there. So uh, the VOC on uh, this setup being you know limited to the around that 50, 52 volt mark, uh, we're getting no near, nowhere near the maximum of the 100 volt input of. The MPPT there so we can push it a little bit further. Quick irradiance test on these panels. Getting 1300. About 1200 there. Get over. Get back one. About 1200 again. So, anyway, that's what three cheap eBay panels can do at least at the time of purchase. We'll see what they, they can put out six or 12 months down the line, but uh, obviously nowhere near what the manufacturer specified at uh, 400 watts. But Always knew that was going to be an impossibility anyway, just based off the uh, surface area of the panels and the efficiency stated. The absolute maximum, even by their own specifications, is uh, just on 300 watts per panel. And I'm uh, probably be lucky to see 200 watts out of each panel. But by the time I applied um, eBay discount codes and uh, discussed a bit of a, a refund from the seller themselves, the uh, price per watt came out at under a dollar per watt for these three, so it's still reasonably good value, I think, uh, at least initially. We'll see how they go for duration.